Well, a new show is coming to a streaming service near you, and it has a twist. The Bite, shot at the height of the pandemic, and it was uh, cast with real-life couples to stay within COVID safety protocols. Joining us now to chat about it is one of the stars, Stephen Pasquale. Stephen, thank you so much for joining us. I have two small world stories to tell you, if you'll oblige me. Okay. All right, so the first is... Do it. Like 20 years ago, I go see Master Class with Audra McDonald in it. And this was before Audra McDonald was Audra McDonald, even though she was always Audra McDonald. And then, so we go backstage because my partner knew one of the people that was in the play. So Audra was back there and she said, I'm taking the bus home. And I said, well, we're going in the same direction. Why don't I just give you the ride home? So I gave Audra McDonald a ride home in my car. Amazing. Is that the most Wonder, amazing? I'll have to remind her of that the next time I see her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, it's so interesting because uh, this was shot during the pandemic. And I was wondering, like, when is something going to come out that's going to talk about all the craziness we went through? But you actually did it with real life. You're, you're shooting with your wife. Was that also just because it made it easier to actually get something done? Yeah, I think one of the goals that the, the, King, the brilliant Kings, Robin and Michelle King, had in creating the show was uh, a tr to try to make something where no one was really going to be exposed to anyone else. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. we used uh, Audra McDonald and I play husband and wife, but each of us are having an affair with our real life <laughs> partners. Uh -huh. So that's how we got around. That's how we got around, uh, you know, having to be exposed really to anyone. And it draw, is it a it's a comedy or it's, it's a it's a it's a dark comedy. Yeah, it's really silly and funny. And, you know, the idea is to sort of bring a little levity to this insane uh, past, you know, 18 months that we've been we've been dealing with. It's about a pandemic, but a very, a very different kind of pandemic, a zombie related pandemic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I was a huge fan of Good Wife and the good fight Thank and you. the creators uh, you know people who watch those shows know that it was like gripping you had to just watch the next one is there any similarity in how this is done yeah this is very bingeable i think they all come out at the same time so it's like you can do it in like two sittings a couple hours it should it, it, it should really just spill out you're not going to want to wait to see the next one i think you want to do it in like one foul swoop Okay. I, I, I have another, uh, we were talking about you at dinner last night because I was telling everybody we were going to talk to you. And my former partner, uh -huh. he said that, you know, my former partner never cried. We were together for 20 years. I never saw him cry. But he went to the Bridges of Madison County and saw you as the lead. And he said, at uh -huh. the end, he cried because your performance was so incredible. So. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. He, well, good. He got his money's worth. I'm thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So for this new show, The Bite, uh, yes. how do people watch it? On Spectrum Originals. Um, and you can binge all six, I think, starting starting a few days ago, Friday. So, um, uh, yeah, you can binge them all at one time on Spectrum Originals. All right. And uh, we are, I just have to ask you, you're doing you're doing screen right now, but you've done so much right. stage. What what's your right. preference? Do you have a love of more one more than the other? I mean, I'm a snot about it. I really love the theater. I would only do plays if I could afford it. Oh, seriously. <laughs> no, that's good. I love that. And, and your wife was actually one of the stars in Hamilton. Does she feel the same way? Yeah, she loves the theater as well. Um, but she's really busy do, shooting TV and film now as well. It's, you know, it's a, it's a really, uh, it's the Wild West out there. You can really, you know, get your fingers in all the cookie jars if you uh, know what you're doing. And she's pound for pound one of the most talented people I've ever known. So she's busy. Oh, yeah, so nice both. of you to say about your wife. Yeah, you're both busy. And I know <laughs> you the truth. Not, I know you played Chris. It's not in, nice, it's the truth. Yeah, that's that is <laughs> God bless her. I know you played Chris in Miss Saigon. What was that like? Whoa, taking me back, man, nineteen ninety seven. Yeah. Uh <laughs> it was my first really good big job. I'd never studied acting or singing, so I really learned I learned how to be a professional actor and singer on that job. I did Miss Saigon like twelve hundred times. Oh my god! Oh my god! So when I was and I was a nineteen-year-old kid, so I really learned so much uh, doing that experience. I'm going to throw out a name, and you're going to say I don't know that person, but going to give it a shot. I think he was the. I don't know that person. <laughs> Bob. All right, go ahead. Bob Avian. Oh, Bob Avian was Miss Saigon. Uh, yeah. in involved in Miss Saigon. Yeah, he's was a, he the choreographer? 
Yes, he was the choreographer. He was a uh, he was a good he's a good he was a good friend of mine. He recently passed away about two months ago, but he was a terrific guy. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I remember Bobby, yeah, and that choreography was great. So yeah, good good on you. You got good you got you got talented friends. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. We were supposed to be friends too, because you were also in Six Feet Under as David's love interest, and I loved that whole show. It was the best thing on television. So you've been in. Oh, everything. that's cool. that was my first job. That was my first ever job. My first ever on-camera job. So they they took good care of me over there. You're I had kidding. no idea what I was doing. That was your first on-camera job. I'm so impressed. That's all. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, those guys are really job, smart. Yeah. That was a great show. Okay, so we're gonna watch the bite. We can binge it, and it, this is also gonna be very good. And you're gonna be and you're terrific in it. Thanks. And come see Assassins this fall. Oh, okay. What is oh, it? yay, Assassin's, because wait, because it opens, Broadway opens back up. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, oh, good and we're you. performing Assassin's at Classic Stage Company. Just Broadway opening up sort of means it's all opening up. So we'll be at Classic Stage Company. Okay, terrific. Well, thank you so much for your time. You're terrific, and uh, thank you. we really liked having you. Thanks, guys. Have Take a care. great day. Hmm. You got to play your small world, your 20 questions. I got, I got well. everything. I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs>